it sort of feels like a comeback trend that very slowly snuck up on us because first there was like the half tuck. We got really comfy with that. Then a higher waisted pant, feeling good about that. Well now, do you need something to cinch it all together? In today's style file, another early 2000 look that's back. Are you ready to re-embrace, here it comes, the statement belt? Studio 5 style and fashion contributor Casey Matheny is showing us five ways to wear it. Great to see you. You too. So belts by definition never completely went out. So what's the comeback exactly? Well, I think that they can just be used in pretty much any outfit now. Mm -hmm. I feel like they kind of had a place. Maybe I'd wear them with denim, but yeah. now they're just they're back. Yeah. And it's fun, like all the different types of belts as well. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this. So hold on, I'm gonna grab this. And we pulled this photo off my desk literally because as we as our producer was describing, you know, what we'll be talking about today and describing the statement belt, my mind went right to this picture. <laughs> I hope my dear friend and the creator of Studio 5, Michelle Torsak, will forgive me. This was taken on the streets of New York at the premiere of the Rachel Ray show. I wanna say 18 years ago. Look at us. Sweaters, layered. Yeah. We had enough layers going on. We were warm. But like the belt, the belt, it the, was the thing, and it wasn't holding up your pants or even no. cinching in your waist. It was just there, a little dusty doing for my desk. Thing. Yeah, it becomes an accessory. Is that yeah. what we're looking at? Yeah, yeah, definitely part of the. I mean, a lot of these are accessories again. Okay, which is fun. Five looks. You're gonna yep. teach us how to wear it right. Yes. Does this work for any silhouette? For the woman out there who's saying, I don't know that I want to draw attention to my midsection. Is there a way around that? Yes. And well, some of these won't necessarily draw attention. They're just an accessory. They're just something yep. fun to do. Okay. First. First, we're tucking it in. All right, so I would say that this is just a very classic look. You've got the denim, the top, and a belt going around the belt loop. Easy. Easy. With this, you can do any rise denim. I mean, a lower denim's getting a little trendy right now, which I don't support what for the books. What did you just say? A lower denim? <sighs> a lower rise Darn denim. It. Why? I don't know. I don't. We're not going to do that to ourselves. I thought we learned from the past. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but okay, so any rise, you can also do any style. Here I've got a pretty flare, which is a wonderful silhouette mm -hmm. for a lot of women because it gives you shape if you don't have it. Mm -hmm. And if you have it, it just kind of balances it out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then you've just got your pretty belt. All right, that's typical. E easiest. Easy, very easy. Start here if you don't know where else to start. Awesome, and front tuck, half tuck, what's the jam? Anything you want. Anything yep. works. In this case, for a higher rise pant, like a super high, I like to tuck it all in and really show off the waist. Just own it. Own it. Own that yes. silhouette, yeah. Yes, let that belt just draw the eye in to a, to a waist if you've got it. Does the thickness of the belt matter, Casey, depending on maybe your height or your, your stature? Yeah, I think that's a really good question. So a lot of times you wanna match your belt, your accessories, your patterns to your stature. So if you're more petite, you mm -hmm. don't wanna wear a super thick belt. Mm -hmm. If you are tall and robust, you can get away with a thicker belt. Mm -hmm. And that works with pattern. You wanna stick to smaller pattern, patterns if you're petite. And so you wanna wear the belt, don't let the belt wear you. Love it. All right, look yep. number two. This is getting a little more daring. This is. This, this is, is what I wore to the Rachel Ray premiere 17 years ago. <laughs> it is honestly very similar. Okay, so this belt is just off of Amazon. A couple of these are, and my sister and I share an Amazon account, and she was like, what are all these cute belts you're buying? What are you doing? What are these? <laughs> so this is just, when you have kind of an oversized, looser sweater dress, you can wear it super loose and you're tight. If you want to draw some attention to your waist, then you can add a belt. Like I said, this is off of Amazon. Just a really fun, cute option. It's yeah. stretchy in the back, so it's gonna fit anyone. Love that. Um, yeah, just kind of brings something new to the eye. And if you're wearing it as an accessory, I assume permission granted to have a little fun with what's happening from an embellishment perspective. Yeah, for sure. Right? That's, yep. that's interesting. Yeah, it is. It is interesting. Everything else is just pretty, pretty normal, but you can get funky with the belt. And I will say there's nothing like the polish of a belt. Like it does just take, the outfit's fine without it, as you've said, but it does take it to an elevated level. What am I matching my belt to, or am I matching it to anything? Okay, so when it comes like matching leather yes. even, so, a lot of times for men, they'll say match your leather. If you have a brown belt, wear brown shoes. And mm -hmm. I would say that's pretty true for men. For women, it changes mm -hmm. sometimes. If you're wearing this brown belt, I would wanna wear black opaque tights with this, maybe to church or an event. 
it is also okay to wear black boots. Okay. So you kind of want to match the boot to the tight in that case. Uh -huh. And then this is just kind of an accessory. It's its own point. thing. It's its own thing. So you're thing. thinking of the lower half as its yes. own party. Yes. And then what happens here can just be a, yeah. a pop. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're not wearing tights, or you know, you can wear brown boots and that'll uh -huh. look great. It's more if you're bringing in the black tights, you want to match black shoes. Got it. Got it. Yep. Okay, oversized. Blazers okay. are having a major moment, and yeah. we talk about don't let the be belt wear you. The blazer thing is hard, especially if you yeah. do have you know some curves or some height. A belt can help you pull that off. Totally, yeah. If you're petite, a lot of a lot of my clients are like, I can't wear an oversized menswear blazer, and I yeah. think, yeah, you can't because it just overwhelms you. Bringing a belt into this is first of all very fashion forward, but second, it makes it more of like a tunic versus an oversized blazer. So you've got some tighter leggings um, on bottom and then you're kind of wearing this like a tunic mm -hmm. and just cinching it in that way. How do I avoid feeling like I'm the 1990 office girl, right? Like I've got a blazer, now I've got a belt. What's I'm, the key to the right casual balance there? I mean, is there a problem with I that? mean, maybe not, <laughs> maybe not, but no. as someone who wore the blazer for, to an office. For sure. And so if this feels a little much, if you're uh -huh. like, I'm not gonna wear an oversized blazer with a belt, uh -huh. you can do this same look, but maybe with a, a sweater blazer. Okay. Um, J. Crew has some really pretty sweater blazers. Sometimes they can feel too big. Wrap a belt around it that way and you get the same idea. The same effect, a little softer. Yeah. I like that. Good Answer. Yeah. This next one feels like the most kind of classic age age open look. Yes. Like any any age could wear this. Yep, yeah, totally. And I I see any age wearing this. Mm -hmm. This works really well when you have a sweater that is is too long to tuck, um, maybe too bulky to tuck, but it just feels like like you're missing something. Add that belt, and it's just going to once again bring something to the outfit. It doesn't have to cinch super tight, so you feel uncomfortable but it's just there to bring something else for the eye. And this one doesn't hug quite like the others do. So if you're concerned about the midsection, is the chain yeah. belt the way to go? I mean, it's definitely a way to go or you just loosen the belt. I mean, a lot of these have adjustable belt, sure. you know, whatever they're called. It's okay. a belt, so yeah. it's adjustable. <laughs> but yeah, this one's really great. This is just off of ASOS and you can hit it wherever you want on that chain. It's so funny to see this again. I Probably know. even more so for you who's in the industry, but this is so... Yeah. Bonkers, right? I'm see it again. Yeah, and like especially the first one, that yeah. is just a really good staple. Like if yeah. I don't know what to wear, I'm like, I'm wearing my jeans, belt, and my top. And you're ready, good easy. to go. Yeah. Belt's a great way to pull some color into an outfit. Yeah, so if you've got an outfit, whether it's all black or just a solid color that feels blah, bringing color and texture mm -hmm. through your belt. This is amazing. My mom brought this back for me from Guatemala years ago. I've had it forever, and I use it all the time just for that reason to bring a little something extra. So proof that yeah. the old belts hanging out in our closet might still have a place in a modern yeah. day current look. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, yeah, pull them out. All right, the statement <laughs> belt, it's back. If you wear it, you should tag us. So Studio 5 on Instagram, we would love to see it. Where can we find more style inspiration from you? Uh, you can find me on my Instagram at Casey Matheny Style or on my website at Casey Matheny. Got a lot going on over there right now. I know, now. it's a fun time of year it to is. get dressed and to help people get dressed, and we're grateful that you do that, and thanks for pushing us in the yeah. right ways.